A while back, I saw a video by Hand Tool Rescue in which he featured a fractal vise, and I thought it was a really cool mechanism. So I went looking to see if I could download a 3D printable model of if somebody had already designed one. Didn't find any when I went looking, so I decided to design my own. Uh, so this was the original, and uh, I made these so that the, every, it'll print without supports. So it's actually split down the middle uh, so that it goes together, and, uh, and all these dovetail parts print in the correct orientation so that uh, no supports are required. So the downsides of this original version are that one of them is that the fasteners here are all a little bit proud of the surface. So if you're using it with any edge tool, like a head and hand plane or a chisel or whatever, you have to be careful not to hit the hit the fasteners on, on the clamp part. Um, and the other downside was that it's assembled, well, it's a lot of fasteners in it, and uh, the assembly required a bunch of different lengths of fastener, that, some of which are really relatively difficult to find. So I made a new version of the mechanism that uses fewer fasteners, uh, and all of the fasteners are the same length. You can use um, quite a range of lengths of uh, bolts, something that I think between like 12 millimeters and 16 millimeters in length, anything in that range will do. Um, so up to 5 eighths of an inch, like just under a half to 5 eighths uh, will do. Uh, and the fastener types that will uh, that are compatible, uh, these just sort of self-tap the screws in, in into the parts. Um, and I used number 440 Imperial uh, fasteners for this. However, uh, the size is compatible also with 3 millimeter or M3. So you might ask, what's it good for? One thing is just sort of fun because, you know, it'll conform to curved surfaces or, you know, irregular shaped objects and it'll just conform to those shapes uh, and uh, you can clamp irregular parts and that's sort of the advantage. So if you take a, a typical sort of bench dog and try to use it in an vice wagon vice or um, on a workmate, um, if the dog is on an irregular, sort of on an angled surface, it's going to have a tendency to want to kick out of the clamp if there's any kind of lateral force involved. And curved objects are even worse. It, and it's teetering on that point contact, and so any kind of lateral force, and it'll just fly out of your clamp. So this has the advantage. So now if we're... Uh, by skewing our plane and making it cuts with the skewed plane, that's applying lateral force. But this clamp's holding it nicely. It's not having any tendency to kick out. Uh, and the other advantage to this, this improved version over the old one with the recessed fasteners, I'm not worried about my plane iron catching on one of these uh, exposed fasteners. Um, they're nicely recessed and the only thing that you can contact is the harmless plastic. So yes, it's a interesting mechanism, and it actually has some utility. Uh, I admittedly don't use it very often, but when I do, it comes in handy. If you want to print your own, you can find the link in the description.